All right, everyone, it's that time of the biannual cycle again. Gold Cup time. Let's go. Yes, hello there, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Dodgy Gamer here, international manager of mystery, managing obscure nations so you don't have to. And we're back once again at the Gold Cup. We're in Group A, not the opening game. That was played by Jamaica and Granada. Jamaica coming out 3-0 winners. We're up against Heishi first. So this is the team we've gone with. Ribeiro in goal, Ebanks and Wood Roach in the centre-back positions. Marshall Connolly, Ebanks and Cupid in the full-back positions. Skeet and Rowe, the greatest partnership CONCACAF has ever seen in the middle of the park. Coleman, Elliot and Connolly, Ebanks making up that first line of attack and rig up front. We've stuck with pretty much the same squad we had in the previous episode, I believe. Uh, we may have changed one of the goalkeepers. Uh, I'm not entirely sure about that. Anyway, straight into it. We're going to get all three group games done in this episode. Ooh, Heishi lining up with five in midfield, obviously looking to choke the life out of the game there. 18 games unbeaten, our record now stands at since the last episode with those World Cup qualifiers. We just played the one friendly um, against Cuba. It was a 3-1 win just a few days ago, a final warm-up before the tournament here. Anyway, we've got a highlight straight from the kickoff. Rowe plays out to Connolly, Ebanks and Rig. Oh, nearly got us an early goal there, but we've got a corner. It's not even a minute on the clock and we're already putting them under pressure. Ah, oh, can we grab an early goal? Let's see. No, it goes wide. Right, five minutes in now and we got the ball pumped forward to Connolly, Ebanks. Rig. Oh, it's saved by the keeper. Oh, I uh, hope that's not going to be the way the rest of this game goes if we're going to be missing easy chances like that. Okay, finally, towards the end of the first half, and we get another highlight, and again, it's just a poor header over the bar. We haven't had a great number of chances, only two shots, three shots on target, not the best. Okay, free kick, a chance to break the deadlock here. Is it going to be Skeet stepping up? No, it's Row for once. Oh, normally Skeet takes those and he scores them. Oh, and we how did that not go in? It thundered against the post and just bounced straight back out. Ever get the feeling it's not going to be your day? Right, we're going to bring in a couple of changes early. Neville Coleman not having a great game in that attacking midfield role. We're going to bring on the experienced Dave Lindo Wilson. And up front, we're going to make a change as well. I'm going to bring on... Jerome Lee McLean. Let's get him out there for his first Gold Cup game. Challenger Sanchez comes into the fray. And time to make some changes. Let's go much more direct, much higher tempo. Quick distribution over the top of the defence. Come on, final 12 minutes. Let's push for it. We'll go attacking if we don't get a goal off this highlight. We don't, so there we go. Okay, here we go. We're piling the pressure on. You're once again, just like we were at the start of the match. Poor clearance by Heishi there. <laughs> Their striker just couldn't be bothered to run and collect that. Here we go. Ooh, Elliot, why did he cross instead of shooting? And then he shot instead of laying it off. Oh, this is reminding me of that Gold Cup a couple of editions ago when it was just draw, draw against easy teams and then defeat in our final game. Disappointing result. So here we go, toughest game of the group. The second match against Jamaica, having not beaten Heishi in our opening game. We've lost that cushion of being able to come into this, you know, a bit relaxed. We can't really afford to lose here. Although, Granada, Heishi have already played. Granada won, which is good for us because if we're defeated here today, we play Granada in our last game. So beat them and we leapfrog them. So a couple of changes in the lineup today. We've got uh, Challenger Sensors and McLean in the fullback positions. We've got Lindo Wilson dropping a bit deeper into midfield. We've got Fagan coming in on the left. Oh, he should be an inverted winger. I don't know why he's not. Let me just fix that. Solomon back in on the right. Right, Jamaica going with a 4-4-2. We're going to tell the boys, I mean, we should be beat. We can beat Jamaica. Show me what you can do, lads. Uh, I mean, we've struggled against them in the past, but, you know, now we're at a stage where, you know, we've got to prove we're better than them. All right, tunnel interview out of the way. Let's get this game on the road. Let's get our Gold Cup on track. Oh, great. Emerson Skeet's pulled up with a groin injury. 
right at the start of the game. Um, I've got to keep him on for now. I mean, he's the best player by far on the park, but oh no, we've let them in. A terrible mistake, a mix-up in defence. And Jamaica goes through to score a goal. Not the way we wanted to start this match. Look at Skeet. I mean, it, to be fair, he played it to Challenger Sanchez. I don't know what Challenger Sanchez was thinking. He just gave it away and is directly responsible for that goal. Okay, here we go. Chance for a Cayman Islands attack. Solomon crossing it from way out wide. Fagan picks it up. Lindo Wilson with a pile driver. A pile driver smacked right in. Top bins. Fantastic strike from the Mazala. Absolutely wonderful play. I mean, Solomon, the two men in front of him, he still got the cross in. Fagan was in the right place to pick the ball up. And then Lindo Wilson. Boom! Shakala. I told them I'm not happy just because that always seems to get a reaction out of them. I'm leaving Skeet on for now. Let's get out there and dominate. Right, I'm going to have to take Emerson Skeet off. I'm worried about you know losing him for the rest of the tournament. So Jamal Rowe can come in. We're also going to bring on the youngster Ashley Mahone. Still just 17, but he's scored goals recently, which is more than we can say for our other striking options. Right, Solomon here with the free kick. Mm, we don't have Skeet to take it, but is he going to shoot? Is he going to send in a cross? We're about to find out he shoots, but just, just wide. Okay, the highlight starts with Ribeiro catching the ball after a free kick. Okay, well, hopefully that's a sign of us launching a counter-attack and not just giving the ball away in a stupid position. Yet again, Jamaica are pressing quite high up the pitch to close us down. We've got to make those guys run and work for the ball. Instead, we just pump along one straight onto the head of one of their defenders. And, oh, they nearly took advantage. We were very lucky to get away with that. And then they kindly gifted us a goal kick. All right, final change then. Darwin Ebanks comes on. We'll put him on as a shadow striker, try and get something in the closing moments of this game. But it's not to be... Not to be a second draw, so if you look at the table over here, I mean, I think we were the better team. Jamaica did have some good chances in that second half, but now we have to beat Granada to advance. So time for the crunch game, and Granada are lining up with a 4-4-2 against us as well. They obviously seem to think that's effective. I check, we've played Granada three times before in the save. 1-2, drawn one. Crucially, the one that we drew before was in the Gold Cup four years ago. When we yeah, drew, and that was a year we were eliminated in the group stage. Let's hope that doesn't happen today. No Emerson Skeet in the side. It did turn out to just be a minor groin strain, but out for five days. He's on the bench, but he's not fully fit. So we're going to have to do this without the star player. And it's Granada with the ball first in the first highlight. Oh, this is tense already. But can we just get the ball off them? Come on. Come on, Cayman Islands. You've got to make it through to the knockout rounds once again. The thing is, this means we're most likely to finish second in the group if we do get through, which means we're most likely to play USA in the quarterfinals. Jerome Lee McLean with the opening goal, settling the nerves, calming things down a bit, justifying his selection ahead of the blank-firing James Rigg. But look at McLean. He just takes on... The entire Granada team himself picks out his spot. Great goal. And that's all your action for the first half. We're 1-0 up. We've dominated. We should be up by a lot more. Jamaica leading their game 1-0 as well. No complacency, please, as we get out there for the second half. Looking to secure our place in the quarterfinals once again. No action so far with 20 minutes left. We're looking to make some substitutions. So we're going to bring on Fagan for Elliot. And Glid and Elliot comes on in defence. Give the youngster a bit of big match experience. We're playing in front of 71,000 fans. I think that's more than the population of the Cayman Islands itself. Luckily, Ribeiro holds on to that. It would be a disaster if Granada were to equalise now. Because that would drop us out of second spot. Let's get a second goal here. A second goal just to wrap things up and avoid a nervy finish. Connolly Ebank skips past his man, crosses it to Fagan. Fagan is the man at the Gold Cup. I, You know, I was being told by the media not to pick him. They said there were better options available on the left, but I thought, no, Fagan 
a name synonymous with the Gold Cup, especially in the Cayman Islands. And there you go, he's justified his pick. But there's still time for this to get a bit nervy for us, and indeed we've conceded straight away. Rashani George pulling one back for Granada, who don't rush to get the ball picked up and back on the centre spot. They go off to have a little dance in front of their supporters. But mm, that's exactly what we didn't want to happen, and it was my boy, Glidden Elliott, who <laughs> allowed that to happen. You can't get all the substitutions right, I suppose. Right, there's still time for twists and turns in this game as we come into the final five minutes, but we've given the ball away here. Granada coming at us now. Ooh, what a save. Tipped it onto the post. Oh, dearie me. We are riding our luck here after dominating the match for so long. Right, time for a final time waster of a substitution. I'm going to take off Christopher Ebanks. Not had the best game back there. We're going to bring on Mr. Lindo Wilson. We'll just swap him over with Jamal. And hopefully that's going to kill a bit of time. They're frustrated by my feedback about tightening up, even though they need to tighten up. The referee gives Granada way too much time, but um, it's not to their benefit in the end. We did it. We secured the win. <laughs> we dominated. There's no way that should have been just a 2-1 win. But anyway, we got there in the end. We get through in second place. So they have a confirmation that we finished second in our group. We qualify together with Jamaica, both sides unbeaten as we go into the quarterfinals. And Group B, USA storming through three wins out of three. Twelve goals scored and only one conceded. Costa Rica scraping through on four points. Group C went as expected. Mexico and Canada strolling through while Panama and Cuba only able to get a point each. And in Group D, perhaps the weakest group, Barbados topping the group. Maybe a little bit of a surprise there. Trinidad and Tobago joining them. Honduras go home early. Which, of course, means in the quarterfinal, we face USA, who we beat in the semifinal two years ago. Can we do it again? And just for the completionists out there, our full draw, so Jamaica, Costa Rica, Mexico against Trinidad and Tobago, and Canada, Barbados making up the other matches. And if we look at the tree, whew, it's going to be a tough ass to get to the final again, because we're going to face the winners of the Mexico, Trinidad and Tobago game, which means we'll probably face Mexico. Anyway, that's it for the Gold Cup group stage. I do hope you've enjoyed that video, and I do thank you for watching all the way to the end. Please hit that like button if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I'm Dodgy Gamer, International Manager of Mystery, and I'll see you at what it looks like is going to be a wet, windy Thursday night at the Cotton Bowl against the USA.